Right, let's get started on this, shall we? What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJTV. In today's video, I am going to be giving you guys my first hand tips, five simple and easy tricks on how to give you guys the best university experience possible. Now, for those people wondering what that thing at the start of the video was, I have just got back from university myself, I've just finished, I've just graduated from Nottingham Trent University, and so, I still had a fair share of mess to clean up, still do, to be fair, but in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my first hand tips, so, let's get it started. Okay everyone, so if you are new to the channel, then this is my home gym. We have a few bits of equipment and this is where I train when I'm not at university. Obviously now I've graduated and now this is my kind of full-time gym, if you like. So if you are new to the channel and new to this video, please consider subscribing. You'll be seeing me in here quite a lot because this is primarily a fitness channel, but I kind of just show everything, the ups and downs of my life and all that usual kind of stuff, right? The series I'm doing at the minute is actually called Graduation, so graduation from university. I'm pretty much just showing my journey from being a university student to sort of working man and all that kind of stuff. So, if that's what you're into, consider subscribing. Let's get into tip number one. And that is to be yourself. The reason being, it's kind of cliche, but it's true, right? So if you're gonna put on this act and this persona, then you can only keep it up for so long, and so the real you will eventually kind of shine through. You know like reality TV shows, if you're watching Big Brother, people go in all nicey-nicey, and then two weeks later, Boom, they're like the worst person on earth. Don't be that person, just go in and be yourself. And if people don't like you for you, well then quite frankly, f them. They are not the kinds of people, they're not the positive people that you want to associate yourselves with. And so, just don't, it's as simple as that. So be yourself from the get go because people will be able to see straight through it. So just, just don't be that person. <laughs> open-minded and what I mean by that is not just about you know one little thing be open-minded about everything go to university with an open mind say okay maybe I'll try a few new things there's so many new opportunities so many new friendships so many new experiences that you are now having the chance to go and embark yourself upon you know what I mean and so get involved do everything you can sign up for as many clubs as you can be open-minded if even if you have a teeny tiny slight interest remote interest in that subject in that topic in that club sign up for it go try it out if you don't like it then just don't go back it's as simple as that no one's gonna to judge you for it. No one's going to care. I'm going to be blunt and honest. No one will really care if you don't go back. It sounds horrible and sounds a bit blunt, but their lives will go on without it and without you. And so go on with your own life as you want. Don't go back if you don't like it. And hey, you might find out something new that you love and enjoy. Find out your new favorite hobby. Maybe you can turn it into a career one day. Hey, not only that, do be open-minded about the people you are going to meet. Because one thing I will say is that you will meet some of the best people, some of the most amazing friends that will feel like family by the end of university, right? You will keep in touch with some of these people for the rest of your life. You will make friends for life at university. You just will. But you will also meet some of the worst. And that sounds horrible. I don't want to put any of you guys off from going to university, but you will meet some people. You're not going to get on with everyone. That's just life. That's just how the cookie crumbles. That's just how it goes, right? You're not going to get on with absolutely everybody. And the reality is some people out there just aren't very nice. Some people out there you just don't want to associate with, but you're going to come across those people. You're going to encounter those people. So be open-minded. Don't just like jump down the next. Don't just, you know, go off on one. Don't hibernate because of it just be yourself be civil with these people that you don't like and just appreciate the people that you do and if you do that you just can't really go wrong so just be open-minded about absolutely everything <laughs>
Okay. Right, good morning everyone. I know I'm wearing the same clothes, but it is the next day. Don't worry. Like, I've not just finished my workout, I had pre-workout and then I'm having a monster. Like, no, just don't do that. Do, just don't. Tip number three would have to be budget. And it's fairly self-explanatory. If you tell yourself, if you work out how much money you have and you say, right, okay, I have 30 pounds for this week. I have 50 pounds for this week or whatever that number may be for you. Some people may have more, some people may have less, right? Everybody's different at university. That's another thing you'll learn. But whatever your budget is, stick to it and that is key because at the end of the day this is practice for later on in life you've moved away to university on your own and you've been thrown in the deep end you've got your own washing so you've got cooking to do you've got everything to do for yourself you're paying bills with this money right and so 50 pound a week if that's your number 30 pound a week if it's more if it's less it doesn't matter just stick to that number regardless of what the situation is if you have to set aside some for the next week i remember one time i saved up to buy a burrito one pound a week i set aside a pound on the side for six weeks i think wait, seven weeks seven weeks and then that paid for my burrito and i was chuffed to bits after that seven weeks because that's nearly two months right but it was a treat that i could then have with jake you know jake legs back by his chest dry seven weeks that took me to save up and it wouldn't have taken that long I probably could have afforded it but I thought no I'm gonna do this the student way I'm gonna save up some money every single week and then you know treat myself so stick to whatever your budget is like I say some people may have more some people may have less but whatever your situation is just make the most of it and you will get through you will get by if you stick to that budget speaking of which these monsters that I'm drinking right now you're probably gonna consume your fair share of them at university whether it's a Red Bull or a monster or something like that just make sure it's the zero calorie ones because if not you're just drinking a load of empty calories that's just gonna make you first year fat right yeah prepare to just yeah. These white monsters, at the time of recording this video, as you can tell, are on sale. We got ours from Sainsbury's because that's just the nearest place to us that sells them. But I think B&M Bargains is one of the other places that are selling them for £2.75 for a box of four. Now, you guys, if you are regular subscribers of the channel, know I am partial to a white monster or two, right? So, grab yours while they are cheap. I should imagine most supermarkets are kind of matching that price just to stay competitive. But if you are a student and you are going to be buying these energy drinks, then... Stick to the zero calorie ones for one and buy them in bulk for two because it will be cheaper and you don't want to be spending all of that budget on just energy drinks because, come on. Come on. Awkward. Tip number four would have to be ask. If you are unsure on anything, anything at all, literally whether it's to do with work, to do with money, to do with like nights out, to do with anything then just ask there's going to be someone to ask if you are living in halls then there should be something called an RA which stands for residence assistant I had one of those in first year turned out to be a really really nice person and a really good friend like I said friends for life not only that you guys have options to ask lecturers what's going on ask your friends what's going on if you are unsure on absolutely anything remember that everyone is in the same situation as you everyone has moved away from home everyone is on their own and everyone is in a brand new situation that they've never been in before so if you're unsure on absolutely anything especially if it's to do with work then remember that your tuition fees are paying their wages and so if you need their help do not be afraid to ask for it and they will be more than happy to help you my dissertation tutor was unreal if I ever needed anything, if I had any questions whatsoever, he would just be there, like whether it was a weekend, a weekday, like doesn't matter what time of night, he would reply as soon as he could with a helping hand. Also know that you will not be the only one asking for help, so don't feel bad about it. If you don't ask, you don't get. And like I said, you are paying those wages with that student loan, that student debt that you're gonna come out of university with. So if you are unsure on anything, just ask. So I am just prepping the dinner for tonight and the fifth and final tip for you guys in today's video is if you are going to university, just enjoy it. You will never have as much free time as you do at university. You will never have as few responsibilities ever again as you do whilst you're at university. You will never have the chance to meet as many new people as you do, have as many new experiences as you do in this time. So make the most of it. Make the most of every single second. Have no regrets. Throw yourself into everything and just enjoy it. Make the most of it because you blink 
and you miss it. I'll tell you, I would do anything to go back just to experience it one more time. But that time in my life has gone, and now I can help you guys through your own. So, enjoy it guys, make the most of it, make new friends, make new experiences, and just remember it for life, because you will treasure those memories forever, you really will. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, I hope you have found it useful. If you think I've missed anything, leave it in the comments section. Are you guys at university, or are you just watching this just cause? Like, if you are, let me know where you are. If not, do you want to go? Like I say, if you think I missed any tips as well, put them in the comment section, and if you have any questions, I can be your go-to guy. Post a comment in the comment section, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I try to reply to every single comment. So, I hope you have enjoyed it, guys. Once again, my name is Liam, thank you for watching LSJ TV today. I will see you guys in the next video.